Good morning, everybody, um, or whatever part of the day it is for you when you're watching this video. I'm here back for this week to uh, present another Weolas clip, uh, and I'm very excited about this one because um, it just so happened that I found it from our library, um, but very uh, appropriate for this time, uh, being that we're fresh new parents. It's about children. It's about how to guide your children into decision making. It's a brilliant, brilliant conversation with one very sweet soul that's been attending a lot of our workshops in the past. And um, I'm very, very excited for you to discover it. So you'll discover a little bit of uh, kind of what is our role and why is that specifically our role, um, especially when they are, they're very young and then getting into the lesson years as well. So there is a lot of super awesome wisdom coming through here. I know I'm appreciating it very much so now. And so dive in, let me know what you think about the video and then I'll see you at the end. Mwah. Okay, now a more specific question I'd like to ask because my little six-year-old is like heaven, heaven, heaven. He's so uh, gorgeous. And one thing that has bothered my husband a little bit is that he doesn't like to make preferences like he comes to me like he asks me mommy what would you choose mommy what would you and my husband's like he has no personality like you're not letting like it's my fault that he's like i'm i'm not choosing for him but he comes to me and i know that you said that when they're little when we're little we're not so focused <laughs> we will stop you for a moment because what's happening here is that your child has so many options and alternatives. It is not that he does not have preference, there is just so much to choose from that he's looking for a little bit of guidance into narrowing down the selection. Ah, good. Okay, great. So if you were to offer to your child as you... Yeah as you do not want your child to go into the place of seeing things and you making decision for them or telling them what's the best for them and then they're trying to memorize it and mimic it for the rest of their lives but you're allowing your child to to allowing them to assisting them in the beginning into through those le less choices to choose from and then having them make a decision you can do it like this or you can do this or you can do this what looks what sounds the best to you right now and then when it's time to do that you will allow them to discover that too but that would be the first next step that sometimes as we often say your children when you come into the physical iteration you're predominantly unfocused which means all of the options are at the display why is kids imagination so beautiful and so big why they are beautifully imagining having conversations with Vera because they're so unfocused as unfocused as you will see anyone on the planet it takes you years later in life to find through your meditation through your focus through your appreciation through the tools to steadiness to get to that which is natural for them but to the friend before that was asking about what do I do with this unfocused with all of these things that I'm, it seems I'm not even desiring well, this child is really rushing to desire. They just do not know where to look first. They have, they have the same, even further bigger cheesecake factory kind of menu that they do not know where to choose from. And all it takes is a little bit of nudge here and a little bit of nudge there. And soon enough, soon enough, you will be asking them and start missing the situation where they were asking you to help them narrow it down because you yeah. will become so self-sufficient in everything that you will start poking to get involved. I feel that these years are so <clears throat> fundamental. I know that from experience and I'm wondering if it would be good or beneficial to not only through my example, but also kind of introducing into the rhythm of their day to like find that balance so that when they are more focused rather than the typical human experience of very unfocused and the teenage years of very focused and then until it gets so difficult so 
uncomfortable that you get well, to the point the sensing that you're not focused. The sensing parent that you are, you will see where your child is, regardless of the age. Everyone gets to that phase mm -hmm. of more focus and stretching the limits of the focus. As you're so observant that as you are, you will know exactly when it's the time. But from what you described your child, your child is in a completely different place right now where they're looking to focus and narrow down the experience of focus. And you want to allow them to see, to experience and stretch that. For as you're not there to protect them from focusing too much, you're there to allow them to see in these years how to focus and how to make the choices. They have their own system feeling system that will tell them exactly what it is and you will know exactly when is the time they're looking for assistance in the other direction which is how to be in a process of unfocusing so yes that's what i don't want to maybe interfere too much but at the same time um like i love Sadhguru because he says that involvement where a parent is the way to go. It's not so Abraham, which is like totally hands off pretty much. And I love this idea of involvement, but also not interfering with their own process. And I realize that they're more... Well, be more um, specific I mean, about... Be more specific about that which is hands off, or you cannot be hands off. The children are learning, and there is always going to be that feedback that they're requiring. They cannot survive without you being fully involved. But that doesn't mean you also make every single decision for them to try to protect them. But it also doesn't mean that they're making all of the decisions and you are trusting that they know exactly what to do for their learning too. In other words, it's not one direction or another. What you're looking now is on the heels of the previous conversation, which is it's not laser beamed into focus or laser beam into unfocus, it's the dance. And your child will tell you exactly what, what kind of assistance they're looking to when you are involved in perception of your child. That is really what the true involvement with your child means. For you to guide things, for you to maybe see that sometimes your child is in the process of unfocusing and getting them to focus into something more and even poking your child, why not? For as they will find a way to poke you too from their place of steady. They often do. And you can see it in situations where they're all playing and you're focused on something and they want to play and they want to be the troublemaker for you. They're inviting you into that which is more inclusiveness and therefore observe how they do it with you and then you can do exactly the same thing with them too. Okay, that's beautiful. Uh, that was beautiful. It really was beautiful um, to get in a resonance of uh, just knowing how we can be of assistance to one another. Not really even just about kids. This is about any, any relationship. Anyways, still to this day, I get really uh, sometimes, um, well, surprised in one way, but also like, uh, I'm like, what? That really came? through my mouth while these conversations and reflections were happening <laughs> so anyway always the new nugget for me to go and look into and I feel I haven't been doing much of this in the past but I feel with a lot of downtime now um, we uh, I get to do it and I'm really really enjoying and I feel all of these conversations were obviously for me as well so anyway I hope you enjoyed it um, share it with a friend who you think might need to hear about this or might benefit from hearing uh, about this uh, and um, just um, if you did not subscribe subscribe and in a comment section you can ask what kind of videos do you would you want me to cover next meaning we have a library of so many different things like we have literally hundreds probably a couple of thousands of clips that we can pull from all of the workshops that have been held before and of course of the new ones that are going to be coming soon which I'll let you know about as soon as we set it up Love you so much. Thank you for being here. Mwah. See you soon.